Well, well, well. It seems like we got ourselves some unwelcome guests. What brings you around to our humble little gold mine? Howdy, folks. Today I'm going to be talking to you about how we made that bandit in there. So, this is like, I think it was three months ago, maybe? Uh, Sean reached out to me, he found me because I have a YouTube channel, and he was like, he saw that I did animatronics, and he sent me an email and was like, hey, this is what we're working on, it's like this roller coaster, do you want to do like the main animatronic? You interact with the animatronic, and he threatens you, he threatens your life, and what you do has a direct influence on what happens in the ride. And I was like, yeah, because <laughs> it sounded really cool at the time. Um, so we did a couple of meetings, we talked about uh, just kind of like helping out design. The idea was that I was going to be in charge of doing programming and try and get like, you know, have it something where it looked with like natural movements, a little like trying to stay away from like the uncanny and all that. Of course, Michael and Matthew have worked on building the actual animatronic. The original plan was that we were going to program this using the same thing as the light show, which was X-Lights, Talk of High Player. But two days before opening, we were running into some issues. We couldn't really think of, like, there wasn't really a practical way to solve those issues and still use that software. I'm actually shocked that it all works because computers are not my thing. If it isn't made of wood or metal, I don't understand it. So we decided that last minute, we're like, okay, this isn't working, how can we solve this? So I went in and then I wrote my own program. It was in Python, I also used Arduino. And that's how we've done the final programming of the animatronic. And how it works is that there's like a game controller. You can like live control it, like live puppeteer it. You just record all the movements with the audio and then play that back. And then I guess right now what we're working on is, you know, putting all the fog machine in with that, getting all the lights set up, turning it to show. So it should be fully autonomous. Coaster hits the sensor, everything goes all in show. Yeah. <laughs> So one of the interesting things about the animatronic is that he doesn't, because he's wearing a bandana, he doesn't have any mouth movement, which at first you think like, oh, then I guess lining up, you know, movements is not as important. Uh, but of course, one of the things we've realized, and of course, it's always something very important to remember is that also eye blinking. It's important to have, when you're controlling like an animatronic, the blinks to line up with your speech. Uh, and that's one of the things that can really like make or break a character whether or not they're like realistic is having that like eye blink at the right time in the speech and stuff. So that was a little tricky too to make sure that like we did have that lined up with the audio even though there isn't any like mouth movement that you can see. Sanatronic has five movements. He's got three servos in the eyes. He can blink his eyes. He can look up and down and left and right. Uh, those are micro servos. He also has two servos in the neck and they're connected to the sides so he can tilt and they can also do up and down. And then we also have two DC motors in the body so you can like lean forward and back, you can also tilt this way as well. Those are of course all being controlled by Arduino. And then along with that we also have the show audio. Well, well, well. Seems we got ourselves some unwelcome guests. What brings you around our humble little gold mine? Also the show has capabilities to record and playback motion. Uh, although sometimes, especially if you like filming stuff, it's fun just to, you know, play around and control them yourself, which is very nice to play around with the writers too. Um, so yeah, maybe we just get some shots of him moving around more than I can do like this. And show like, oh, he's like this way. And he is also very hard to control uh, because he's using every single button on this controller. <laughs> there's the eye movement, there's the head movement, there's the head pivot, there's the eyelids, there's all of the body movements. It's a little challenging, but we make do. 